Migrants started to leave the so-called jungle refugee camp in northern France after violent clashes broke out between camp residents and uh, the police on Sunday night. Officials in Europe warned that the ongoing military operation in the Iraqi city of Mosul could backfire as they fear terrorists might flee to the continent and wreak havoc. It's revealed that the UK is still providing precision training to Saudi pilots despite accusations of the Saudi-led coalition committing war crimes in Yemen. This is RT International coming to you live from Moscow. I am Marina Joshi. Welcome to the program. And here are the latest pictures from the French port town of uh, Calais as uh, migrants begin to flee the infamous jungle camp. Some 60 buses are expected to transport the refugees to other parts of France. And that's after they clashed with security forces as they protested against the plan to demolish the camp. <laughs> The camp now hosts up to 9,000 migrants, including 1,300 unaccompanied children. French authorities have deployed almost 2,000 police officers in the area to control the situation. On Monday, 3,000 migrants are expected to be relocated across the country. Our right, Harry Fear reports. Last night there was violence as it has become the norm here uh, beside the infamous jungle camp. Some of the migrants throwing projectiles at stones and bottles at police who then responded in kind, of course, with tear gas. So this is meant to be D-Day for the slum-like camp. These are meant to be its final hours, and thousands of officers have been drafted in to deal with this clearance operation that authorities are calling a humanitarian operation. At least several thousand, if not 10,000, some estimate, is now the total population of the camp. So what to do with uh, such a number of people when the camp is cleared. Well, President Hollande has a plan. We intend to dismantle the Calais camp entirely and relocate people throughout France to small centers with 40 to 60 people staying for a limited period of three or four months. This will happen in full coordination with the migrants. So the plan then, as you heard there, to relocate uh, those migrants, dispersing them in refugee centres uh, around France, offering them the chance to claim asylum. If they don't take it, they will be deported. And that is those that accept to board. There's something like 60 coaches that will take them from the camp to these centres around France. But not everyone is thrilled by this idea. And there have already been local protests around France by those angry residents. Uh, really, their message has been, not in my backyard. We are against the choice of the place for security reasons. The problem is not to distribute migrants across the country. The problem is that French people don't want them anymore. The French don't want immigration. This is a reality. What will migrants do here? They don't learn French, we don't teach them the values of the Republic, and even on the health side, we're not able to treat them correctly. But locals here in Calais are also not happy too, and the fears and of some that this is meant to be the final hours and days of the camp, but it feels like indeed to some that it might not be. And of course there is also a large number of those in the camp who don't want to go on these coaches and go to these refugee centers. And in fact, some research from refugee groups uh, suggests that something like two-thirds will not go on these coaches, and one-third, well, they want to stay in Calais. Thousands have been gathering across the country to protest against the government's plan to relocate immigrants. And locals are voicing anger over the decision to build refugee shelters in their towns. We heard from Claude Rocher, professor at the Institute of Public Management, about the situation in Cali. There is a political project be behind the human humanitarian side of the problem. Human side, of course, is the problem of migrants without us, they lose their home, and so on. But, um, 
the project of the mainstream political uh, parties is to transform the French society into the multicultural society. And France is not a multicultural society. When you have multiculturalism, it's always fight and wars. There is this political, uh, it's, it's a political project. That's why you have demonstrations in, uh, in the small uh, village against the coming of the migrants. While the French authorities struggle to relocate thousands of migrants from Calais, protesters set fire to an EU asylum agency located in a large refugee camp on the Greek island of Lesbos. And that many migrants vented their anger over detention conditions as some have been kept in the center for months. Fire services and riot police have been dispatched to the area to control the unrest, and dozens of protesters have been detained.